Welcome to the podcast, Claim Your Excellent Life, with your host, Suzanne Kellner Zink, where she helps professional women learn how to be happy. Suzanne will teach you how to do this through building high self esteem, relaxation and calm, and good, healthy relationships. Tune in every week as Suzanne shares effective strategies to help you claim your excellent life with happiness techniques, self esteem building exercises, relationship tips, and relaxation information. Make sure to head over to dawningvisions.com to subscribe to the newsletter to receive your keys to happiness, as well as other useful free gifts for you. episode of Claim Your Excellent Life, we are going to speak about something that's very important today. That is self-care. I don't know why it is that so many people feel like they have to rush around like lunatics to do whatever the hell it is that they feel is so damn important to get done. Let me tell you about my last week and a half and how I definitely was put on a hold, even though I'm in the middle of putting together a pretty interesting and super important program for myself and for those who are going to be coming to take part in it. Nonetheless, as they say, shit happens. Last week, Friday, unfortunately, there were three kids shot outside the high school here in Wilmington, California. My guess is that maybe antidepressants was the thing that caused it because we understand that psychotic events happen more often than one would like to know about antidepressants. So if someone tells you to take antidepressants for stress or some innocuous problem, think twice before you or you allow someone else to go on them. That being said, my car died right parallel with a police cruiser that was in front of the yellow tape where the shootings happened. And yes, the vans were there to report the whole mess. Needless to say, AAA had quite a hard time coming to pick up my car because things were blocked off on the main road that went through. They did find me, however, and the car did get fixed thanks to some very lovely People helping me out, one in particular. Secondly, three days after that happened, the hard drive on my 2009 MacBook Pro died. That means that unless I put $187 or more into that computer, I can't access the information on it. So I needed to come up with a really great idea on how to go about dealing with that mess. Well, I do have this lovely iPad. It's only a year old. So I decided to get myself a printer that was compatible with it. That only cost $58, is wireless, and will do the job until I can get a new computer. And then I found out yesterday, because those two things were not enough, of course, for one person to handle, that my current roommate is moving out this weekend. There's good things about it and bad things about it. However, the best thing about it is that I'll be able to have gatherings here at the house We have plenty of room for having gatherings, and I can move my projects forward in that way. Very cool. So, this is important stuff for us to recognize. I'm very grateful that I am healthy. I'm grateful that I am living in a place where I would like to live, generally speaking, if not specifically. I am lucky that I have many, many people who help me out. In fact, I'm very blessed by that. And that goes into another little thing that I'd like to share with you. So often, we Americans in particular feel like we're all alone in this world. And let me tell you something. The only reason you're alone in this world is because your defense mechanisms are up so high that you're unwilling to share what is going on with you so you can get some help and assistance. One of the things that I did, oh, maybe about three or four weeks ago, was I was speaking to my landlady who loves to go gambling at Haraz on the Indian reservations. And I was speaking to her about wanting to put together a special program, in this case, reversing diabetes in kids 10 to 19 years of age and having their parents go, but wanting to do it in a place where spirituality and the environment mattered. Why? Because when we're working at our best, most highest level, we're able to be in touch with our spiritual sense and we're able to respect the environment that we live in, the environment of our family, and respect what each of us needs in our lives to make them easier and better, 
as well as the environment of our bodies. And certainly with diabetes, we do need to look at the environment of the body. So she suggested that maybe perhaps we could go take a ride down to Hara, where she had free room and we could eat for free there too, given that she gambles and she gambles with limits, very strict limits. So she can get her free stays. And then I could go talk to the different folks on the reservations and see what I could make happen. And we did that a couple weeks back. And I'm now working with a gentleman at the Palo Casino and Spa to put together my first event of any substance. And that's very exciting. But it was but if I hadn't told her what I wanted to do, I wouldn't have gotten that answer. I certainly wouldn't have been able to go down there with her, had free stay, free food, and been able to hang out in the shakuzis. They only have three of them there and three pools too. After we had done the work, well, after I'd done the work, by noontime. Very exciting and very fun. And we get to do it all over again. But the next time I go down, I'm going down to get sponsors to help pay for this gala affair that I'm putting together. You just never really know. Who knows what? Who will come up with what ideas that will help you out? So please, if you feel stuck with some problem or if you feel like there's something that you would like to create and you're not exactly sure how to go about doing it, share the idea. Maybe the most unlikely people of all will have the best ideas ever, as my landlady did. And it was a shitload of fun too, and it will be more fun later on too when we go back on the 16th and 17th because we have another free room and free food. She already put that in, so I know that's happening. How cool is that? Little vacations. I like little vacations. Especially if they work vacations, because then I know that I'm moving my business forward. The other thing that I'd like you to understand is that it is really true. I think it was Napoleon Hill who stated, or maybe it was Earl Nightingale who stated that the five most important people... Or the, the or maybe it was Jim Rowan. I forget. I read so much stuff. I can't keep track of it all. But anyway, whoever said it, it's absolutely true. Your life is only going to be as good as the five people that you hang out with the most. So make sure that those people that you hang with the most love you unconditionally, support what you're doing, are willing to tell you when they feel that there's some issues that are coming up between the two of you, or more importantly, if they feel like there's something going on in your world that they've noticed that they're concerned about. And I'm going to go back to, man, we're talking maybe hmm, 1980. Yeah, it was 1980 when I found out that my best friend in college had found out from one of the professors that the professor thought that I might have manic depression. And this friend of mine loved me so much, he was unwilling to tell me the concerns that the professor had. And the professor didn't share his concerns either. So what happened? Nine years later, I got really, really out of sorts when I had some huge pressures upon me because of family dynamics. And that manic depression got a lot worse. And because it is one of those decompensating type illnesses, it wasn't a pretty picture. I never was psychotic, thank God. And that was because I had excellent treatment in a $10 per session community center that I went to. Because my ex, who actually did have my back, he had seen a commercial for depressives on the TV. And he just took down the phone number and he told me that when I felt like it, to call. So in other words, he didn't force me to do anything. He just gave me the information. And a week later, I did call on my own. This is the way that you can help people. It's not by being fearful that they're going to hate you because you have a concern. It's not going to be because they may take some time away. Because I'll tell you, this is true too. You know, in my earlier years, way before I got into hypnosis, I was a pretty brazen person. I could really be in people's face. I mean, I can do it now with the addicts because that's what they require when I'm working with them. But as for as other people, it really does help to make suggestions and to... Be a person who can help people along their way without being demanding, without forcing people to see things your way, except for if they do something that hurts you, in which case it's really important for you to be able to explain to them that just as they have feelings that they would like to have honored, you too have feelings that need to be honored because feelings are feelings. And to whatever degree 
that each of you can understand and work together to come to some compromise, better position on it, is the degree that your relationships are going to be healthier and better. And this goes into the whole idea of creating boundaries. And boundaries is a really big subject, but the bottom line on boundaries is this. If you feel like you're being hurt, abused, used, or played by somebody, your boundaries are being overridden. And more often than not, if you feel like your boundaries are being overridden, you may be overriding other people's boundaries without realizing it. Some of the ways that that happens is maybe by being kind of coy and innocent when you're doing your manipulative bullshit and the emotional stuff. Yes, that is a manipulation. Or people-pleasing and then getting resentful because that person that you're people-pleasing didn't recognize it because you didn't tell them what you were doing. They had no way of knowing. Of course, they're not going to care. They might acknowledge something especially kind or sweet that you've done, but they're not going to recognize all the little things that you have in your own little twisted head that you think they ought to be able to acknowledge when they have no clear idea of what it is that you're doing or why you're doing it, more importantly. Because to tell you the truth, true friendship is based on true love. And true love comes from giving without expecting a thing back in return. That's right. You don't expect anything back in return. You just give because why? That's the best way to be so you can feel good about the thing that you've done. If all we ever do is take, well then you might feel like you're being played as I did with one of the guys that I dated who was wonderful with giving me gifts, but he treated me like a piece of crap. He was always dissing me, always telling me I didn't know what I was talking about, shushing me, and saying really negative things in front of his friends. Hello? That's called being bought. I'm significantly younger than him, so I was like arm candy. And, frankly, I dumped him for that reason, because... I'm not here to be bought. I don't care how bad things get for me financially. No one's buying my love. It's just not for sale. And you need to be the same way. But that doesn't mean that there aren't other people in your world that are there to help you if they know that you need the assistance. Other manipulative things are putting people in a double bind where they lose with both choices that they take. And another double bind is like, just showing up at the last minute with a big, huge change of affairs. I had that with my roommate, where he didn't tell me that he was leaving this weekend. And that, of course, may have some ramifications on my ability to stay here or to need to leave. It would have been very nice for him to tell me instead of the guy who subletted his room to the guy. Now, the guy who did tell me was very sweet in how he did it, but that's not the point. The point is... When things are shifting and changing and other people are included in these choices and decisions that we are making, or even in, in this case, he's being forced to go back to Texas for whatever reason, I don't know, none of my business. And that's another boundary. You don't need to know everything. You just need to know enough to know what you need to do for yourself. It would have been really quite classy for him to text me and let me know that we needed to have a talk last evening instead of staying out until God knows when. I went to sleep about one o'clock in the morning and he hadn't been here yet. Not that I was waiting for him specifically, because I didn't know what was... Well, I did actually know what was up, because the uh, subletee, I guess, had told me earlier that day. And my roommate didn't show up until way late that night, and he says, yeah, I want to tell you in person. To which I said, no, you didn't, because if you did, you would have texted me and made sure that your ass was here in time for you to tell me. Last evening, I was here the entire day and the entire night. There was no excuse. But he didn't know that because he didn't check in, because he was doing whatever he was doing. And that was not okay. So we need to stop this manipulative stuff. And then the other last one, and this is something that I used to do a lot when I was hypomanic back in the day. I used to get into my head that I could do things, make things happen. And sometimes, like when I bought the real estate, the height of the market, I got myself in over my head. Now, admittedly, I did study for the sales license. And I did get it. First try. So it wasn't like I was totally ignorant, but what I was ignorant about at that time was really the community because we were moving from Wakefield, Mass., which is north of Boston, to Rhode Island, right outside Providence. And I didn't know anything about that area at all. And that was a problem. So sometimes a little bit of information can get you into really big trouble. And when you manipulate yourself like that, you can create problems for other people. And that is not good in this case. My ex's credit went to shit in a handbasket because obviously we ended up going bankrupt 
handing back the houses because we couldn't afford them because we had tenants who were not paying the rent. Big problem. So just wanted to let you know that these things can happen, even when you do the things that you think are appropriate. So if you want to have a great life, be honest with yourself about what you can and can't do, what you do and do not know. Ask for help when you need it and go to experts if they're necessary. And by all means, hang out with wonderful, loving, caring, supportive people who have your back. You only really need about four or five of them. One will do. But four or five is better. And if you can get more than that, great. Because this is the other thing. If you're in this world to do things that truly matter and make a change for other people, people will be there to help and support you along the way. Why? Because they believe in you and your projects. And nobody on this planet who's done anything of any value has done it on their own. Nobody. So get over this whole concept that you have to do it on your own because you aren't going to be able to do it on your own. Because none of us is excellent at everything we need to do, especially with the way that technology is so fast and how it changes and what you can do in marketing and I don't know I suck at numbers and I can't write well I can write but my handwriting is horrible and I do need help with grammar and spelling issues and really where I shine is presentation education and doing hypnosis and neurolinguistic programming those are the things that I really love doing on the side I love cooking if I don't have to do it three times a day every day like for an event or my fashion, I have a very distinctive style, or my makeup. These are things that I really do love in the creative abilities as well as doing my writing and doing my inductions and the other stuff that I do for my practice and my business. So figure out what it is that you do, where you shine. Figure out the things that you're good at but you can't stand doing and give it to somebody else to do. And Figure out the things that are really, really hard because for me, technology is really, really hard. And I'm so glad that I have Sam to help me out with this stuff because if not, I'd be screwed. I'm so happy that for years and years, I had a lovely uh, bookkeeper, Neji, out there out east who made sure that all the paperwork was done that needed to be done for the books. She used to call and say, it's time to do the books. We it's done, we do the books. And then it was already for the accountant and it made life so easy because I don't do numbers very well. My brain just doesn't operate that way. So just know these things about yourself. Respect those things about yourself and let other people handle that stuff because that's their area of genius, as they like to say it so over years, I can't stand that term. How about we just say their areas of competence and hopefully they enjoy doing it. So if they don't enjoy doing it, they won't do as good a job. So make sure they enjoy doing whatever it is you're hiring them to do. So with that said, I'd like to talk to you for a few moments about the programs that I'm putting on. The first one is happening in May. And it will be on the 13th and 14th and a VIP on the 15th to help youth ages 10 to 19 to disappear their diabetes. Type 2 only. That's the only kind that I can help with, right? And the parents need to be there with them. So when you buy the tickets, it's going to be for the diabetic youth and the parents. One parent family, two parent families, or a parent and a significant other is fine because they have to have the support, they have to have the understanding of their parents in order to have the environment necessary to succeed. That's going to be happening at the Palo Casino and Spa, and for more information, you can give me a call at 781-315-1719. And in a short while, I'm going to be putting up the sales page for it, but I'm still putting together the program, so there's not much to put on the sales page yet. Suffice to know, you're going to be able to get really healthy, tasty recipes to use that are diabetic-friendly. You're going to learn all about the physiology of diabetes, the real physiology, not what conventional medicine tells you, which is only a piece of the story. And you're going to learn how to go about reversing it along with some hypnotic techniques to be experienced so that you can learn how to do this stuff on your own once you and your youth leaves. Because honestly, 
the best way for anyone to overcome anything is for them to take responsibility for it. So the youth is going to have to take responsibility for turning this around, but the parents do need to be supportive. So again, that's happening May 13th and 14th, Saturday and Sunday, and a VIP day on Monday. I'm still waiting for the total pricing from the hotel, so I'll have a better understanding of what I'm going to be charging for the main deal. But in the meantime, there will be a sales page put up, and I will let you know where to find that. But in the meantime, just give me a call, 781-315-1719, and we can talk about it. And you might have some really great ideas of things that you'd like me to integrate into the program, and I'm happy to do that because I'm here to serve you. The other program I'm doing is for healing healthcare professionals. You have a right to be healthy, too. And that is going to be done in two different ways. One is going to be just a retreat. We're going to be going to New Zealand. I'm shooting for April, and we're going to be learning how to take really good care of ourselves. I'm going to teach you some hypnotic and neurolinguistic programming techniques, and we're going to see some really, really cool places and learn about the Maori spiritual teachings all while we're there. Maybe we'll even go into the volcano. It's pretty cool stuff. It's a wonderful land, and it's definitely worth the trip. The reason why we're going back, because I want to go back. And I'm also going to be doing a mentorship program that's going to last a year. There's going to be four major trips. The first is the one to New Zealand. And then through the year, we're going to go to Israel, Hawaii, and Uganda, most likely. And do some really cool stuff there. So if you're interested in those... Again, please give me a call at 781-315-1719. And for these, it's going to be the practitioner plus partner because, again, I want the right environment. I want the right support because there's no point going and getting your whole life reframed and then coming back and having to fight stuff because your partner wasn't aware of what you were doing. I know that too well because that's probably what helped my marriage dissolve, so I don't want anyone else to go through that if at all possible. As always, I thank you for spending your time with me. Till next time. If you have enjoyed Claim Your Excellent Life, we'd really appreciate it if you go over to iTunes and give it a five-star review. If you have found Claim Your Excellent Life to be helpful to you, and maybe even life-altering with the information that we have shared here, and to allow us to continue this work, which we really do enjoy doing for you, you can sponsor us at patreon.com. That's spelled P as in Paul, A-T-R-E-O-N as in Nancy, dot com. Again, that's P as in Paul, A-T as in Tom, R-E-O-N as in Nancy, dot com. Where there's a few different levels of sponsorship that you can choose from, to help us to continue doing this work. We thank you for any assistance that you are able to give us. Thank you for listening to the podcast, Claim Your Excellent Life, with your host, Suzanne Kellner-Zink, where she helps professional women learn how to be happy. Suzanne teaches you how to do this through building high self-esteem, relaxation and calm, and good, healthy relationships. Tune in every week as Suzanne shares effective strategies to help you claim your excellent life with happiness techniques, self-esteem building exercises, relationship tips, and relaxation information. Make sure to head over to dawningvisions.com to subscribe to the newsletter to receive your keys to happiness as well as other useful free gifts for you.